Welcome to our journey through the mind-boggling world of black holes. So, what exactly is a black hole? Well, it's a spot in space where gravity is super strong. I mean, it's so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. In simple terms, a black hole has three main parts. The event horizon, kind of like its boundary, the singularity, where everything's squished together, and the super strong gravitational pull that makes it all happen. Famous scientist Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity is a blueprint for understanding the black holes. And back in 1916, another smart person named Carl Schwarzschild gave us some math that described black holes. How did we even find out about these cosmic mysteries? In the 1960s, we got our first hints of black holes when we spotted something called Cygnus X1. It's like a famous celebrity black hole in the sky. Famous scientists like Albert Einstein, John Michel, and Carl Schwarzschild paved the way for us to understand black holes better. Now you might be wondering, how do these black holes even form? Well, it all starts with something called gravitational collapse. Imagine a star that's super massive. It goes through some changes in its lifetime, kind of like how we grow from kids into adults. When these giant stars get old, they can explode in what's known as a supernova. And sometimes they collapse into a black hole. This whole process is what makes black holes come to life. Ever wondered how black holes are born? Well, it's all connected to the life story of stars. Stars, like our sun, have a life cycle. They start as little babies, shine brightly in their prime, and eventually they run out of fuel. When a massive star reaches the end of its life, it goes out with a bang we call it a supernova. Researchers look at stars from birth to supernova. There's a whole bunch of data out there, like research papers such as Stellar Evolution and Nucleosynthesis by Sean G. Ryan. Some famous supernovae, like SN 1987A, have given us precious insights. Imagine these supernovae as cosmic fireworks, showing us the death of a star. Let's picture a star that's super massive. It's had its time to shine and it's aging. What happens next? It starts collapsing under its own gravity. The immense pressure inside the star causes it to shrink in on itself. This is the spectacular show that leads to the birth of a black hole. And how do we know all this? Well, scientists use super smart computer models and simulations to recreate the drama of a collapsing star. Black holes can also have an even more mysterious origin, the primordial black holes. These black holes are like cosmic time capsules. They might have formed right after the Big Bang, during the universe's early days. Some brilliant minds like Stephen Hawking and Joseph Silk have theories about them. Let's unravel the anatomy of these incredible cosmic phenomena. Let's start with the most famous part of a black hole, the event horizon. It's like an invisible line in space. Imagine you're in a spaceship and you're getting closer and closer to a black hole. Once you cross that invisible line called the event horizon, there's no turning back. Anything that crosses it gets pulled into the black hole. Scientists have clever models and theories to explain this. They use math like the Schwarzschild metric to understand the event horizon. It's like their secret code to decode what's happening near black holes. There are things called X-ray binaries and quasars out there that give us clues about these event horizons. They're like the cosmic detectives, helping us uncover the secrets of black holes. Now let's talk about the heart of a black hole, the singularity. It's like the ultimate cosmic mystery. The singularity is a point where matter is squished into a tiny, tiny space. It's so packed that our usual laws of physics don't work there. It's a bit like the ultimate no-go zone in the universe. Scientists are still figuring out this enigma. They have this idea called the no-hair theorem, which says black holes are simple with just three key properties, mass, spin, and charge. Now we're entering a mysterious territory called the ergosphere. It's like a cosmic whirlpool around a black hole. In this region, things can still escape from the black hole, but they get dragged along for a cosmic ride. It's like a cosmic dance where space and time get all twisted. Scientists have developed models to understand this cosmic whirlpool. It's like solving a puzzle. And one of the heroes here is Roy Kerr, 
who gave us the Kerr metric. Satellites in space have even tested this effect. It's called frame dragging. These experiments help us confirm the existence of this strange zone around a black hole. Lastly, let's talk about the Schwarzschild radius, the key number that tells us how big a black hole is. Every black hole has its own personal space. The Schwarzschild radius is like a bubble around the black hole. If you get too close, you'll get pulled in. Let's go through the universe's incredible types of black holes. First up, let's talk about stellar mass black holes. These are the everyday heroes of the black hole world. Imagine a black hole with the mass of a few suns. That's a stellar mass black hole. They're created when massive stars run out of fuel and collapse. There are some famous ones out there, like Cygnus X1 and V616 Monocerotis, a 0620000. Scientists have studied them for years. They have even shared their findings in research papers. Now, let's venture into the realm of intermediate mass black holes. These are the in-betweeners. They're bigger than your typical stellar mass black holes, but not quite as massive as supermassive ones. How do they form? Well, sometimes it's like a galactic traffic jam, with stars colliding and creating these in-between wonders. Scientists have observed globular clusters and seen X-ray emissions, hinting at the existence of these intermediate mass black holes. These black holes play an important role in understanding how galaxies evolve and grow. They might even be the stepping stones to supermassive black holes. Supermassive black holes are the supergiants at the centers of galaxies. We're talking millions to billions of times the mass of our sun. These cosmic giants live right at the heart of galaxies, including our Milky Way. Scientists have used various methods to study these colossal black holes. They've watched how stars and gas move around them, like a cosmic dance. Take Sagittarius A asterisk at the center of our galaxy, or M87 asterisk in Messier 87, for example. These supermassive black holes are like cosmic kings, ruling over entire galaxies. Researchers like Reinhard Genzel and Andrea Ghez have given us the knowledge about supermassive black holes. Their paper, Observational Evidence for a Black Hole at the Center of the Galaxy, is like a treasure map to our galaxy's center. Now let's dive into the properties of black holes. Let's start with the basics, mass, spin, and charge. These are the unique features that make each black hole a cosmic individual. Mass is like a black hole's weight. The bigger it is, the stronger its gravity. Imagine it's like the heavyweight champion of the universe. Then there's spin. Black holes can spin like a cosmic top. This rotation affects their shape and how they pull things in. Think of it like a cosmic whirlwind. Lastly, there's charge. It's all about electromagnetism. Some black holes might carry a charge. It's like having an electric personality in the universe. Scientists figure out these properties by looking at X-rays and the ripples in space from merging black holes. Now let's talk about math. The Schwarzschild, Kerr, and Reissner-Nordstrom metrics. The Schwarzschild metric is like the ID for non-rotating black holes. Think of it as their cosmic address. It helps us describe their shape and gravity. The Kerr metric is for the spinning ones, helping us understand their rotation and warping of space-time. The Reissner-Nordstrom metric is all about charged black holes. It's like the electronic signature in the universe. This metric helps us describe their unique electromagnetic properties. These metrics are tools that scientists use to decode the secrets of black holes. Now, get ready to explore the mind-bending phenomena of black holes. First up, let's dive into the incredible world of Hawking radiation, a concept that turns our understanding of black holes on its head. According to Stephen Hawking, the brilliant physicist, Black holes aren't completely dark. Near their event horizon, they can actually release tiny particles, kind of like a cosmic whisper. Now, why is this such a big deal? It challenges everything we thought we knew about black holes. Hawking radiation has huge implications for the laws of thermodynamics and the fate of black holes. It's like rewriting the rules of the cosmic game. Next, let's talk about some effects that happen near black holes. 
time dilation and gravitational redshift. Time dilation is like a cosmic time warp. If you get close to a black hole, time seems to slow down compared to those far away. It's like the ultimate time machine. Gravitational redshift is all about light. The strong gravity of a black hole stretches light waves, making them appear redder. It's like seeing a rainbow that's been gently pulled. These effects are proof of Einstein's genius. They show how gravity can warp the fabric of space-time. Finally, let's tackle the intense tidal forces near black holes. Tidal forces are like cosmic stretches and squeezes. When you get close to a black hole, these forces can distort objects, like stars and planets. It's like galactic yoga. We see these forces in action during tidal disruption events. These are like cosmic battles where a black hole tears a star apart. It's like a space monster devouring its prey. Now let's deep dive into how we observe black holes. First, let's talk about the tools we use to peek into the cosmic unknown, telescopes and detectors. Telescopes come in all shapes and sizes, from the ones we use in our backyards to the enormous observatories. Each type captures a different kind of light, like optical, radio, or X-rays. Scientists at top institutions and observatories around the world, like the European Southern Observatory, ESO, and the National Radio Astronomy Observatory, NNRAO, work with these tools. Now let's explore two fascinating sources of information about black holes, X-ray binaries and quasars. X-ray binaries are star duets, one of the stars is a black hole or a neutron star, and it's like a cosmic vacuum cleaner. It pulls matter from the other star, and as it spirals in, it releases X-rays, which we can detect. Cygnus X1 is a superstar in this category. It's been in the spotlight for helping us understand black holes. Now, quasars are cosmic beacons. These supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies are like fireworks. They shoot out intense energy and light, helping us uncover not only the black holes, but also the galaxies they call home. Take 3C273, for example. It's a celebrity in the world of quasars, and it's been instrumental in expanding our understanding of the universe. Finally, we venture into the realm of gravitational waves. These are ripples in space-time caused by massive cosmic events, like black hole mergers. Think of them as the universe's heartbeats. LIGO and Virgo observatories are like our cosmic stethoscopes. They've made groundbreaking detections of gravitational waves from black hole mergers, giving us a new way to see and confirm the existence of black holes. Now let's understand the extraordinary connection between black holes and Albert Einstein's groundbreaking general theory of gravity. Einstein had this revolutionary idea that turned the old rules of gravity upside down. Instead of thinking of gravity as a force, he said it's like a trampoline, a curve in space-time caused by mass and energy. It introduced us to concepts like the equivalence principle and the famous equation E E M M E 2 These ideas have been confirmed through experiments, like watching light from distant stars bending around the sun during a solar eclipse. That's gravitational lensing. Now, let's explore how black holes act as incredible testing grounds for Einstein's theory. Einstein's equations actually predicted the existence of black holes, even before we saw them. Black holes show us the amazing gravitational effects predicted by general relativity. For instance, time near a black hole behaves differently. Light gets stretched and space-time itself bends. Modern experiments, like those by LIGO and Virgo observatories, have detected gravitational waves from black hole mergers. These observations are like solid gold for confirming general relativity. Now we'll get into the cosmic dance between supermassive black holes and galaxies. Supermassive black holes, often found at the heart of galaxies, aren't just cosmic loners. They play a starring role in the growth and structure of their galaxies. As these black holes grow, they influence the galaxy around them. Their powerful gravitational pull and energy can affect the formation of stars and the overall galaxy's size. It's like a cosmic tug of war. Scientists have delved into this cosmic relationship, and research papers like 
the cosmic evolution of black holes and spheroids have been like treasure maps, helping us understand the interconnected growth of galaxies and their supermassive black holes. These are like cosmic lighthouses emitting incredible amounts of energy and radiation, sometimes even brighter than the entire galaxy. It's like the galaxy's heart beating in overdrive. Scientists use advanced instruments and observatories, like the Hubble Space Telescope, to understand these AGN and the energetic processes. Lastly, let's dive into the latest discoveries and ongoing research in this cosmic field. Recent studies have uncovered new insights into supermassive black holes and AGN behavior. Advanced instruments and observatories, such as the Chandra X-ray Observatory, have been like our cosmic detectives aiding in these discoveries. They help us peer deep into the cosmic mysteries. Institutions like the Sloan Digital Sky Survey and the Event Horizon Telescope are the heroes of this cosmic saga, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge about supermassive black holes and galaxies. Let's get on our cosmic journey into the mind-boggling paradoxes and puzzles of black holes. Let's begin with one of the most puzzling questions in the universe. The information paradox. When things fall into a black hole, what happens to all the information they carry? Our current understanding suggests it's lost forever. But that clashes with the laws of quantum mechanics, which say information can't disappear. Stephen Hawking, the genius physicist, added a twist by suggesting that black holes emit Hawking radiation and gradually shrink. This raised a possibility. Could the information somehow be encoded in this radiation? But the debate rages on, with researchers like John Preskill and Gerard Hooft exploring various solutions. Now, let's explore the intriguing connection between black holes and thermodynamics. Black holes have a temperature and can emit thermal radiation called Hawking radiation. This connection to thermodynamics opens a fascinating window into the universe. It's like discovering that the laws of physics are connected in unexpected ways. This concept is fundamental, and it links black holes to the second law of thermodynamics. It's like realizing that the universe follows a set of cosmic rules. Researchers and institutions, including those at CERN, are actively studying black hole thermodynamics, uncovering secrets about the universe's deepest principles. Let's get into the universe's most mind-bending concepts, wormholes, white holes, and exotic black hole theories. Wormholes are like cosmic tunnels, theoretical passageways that could potentially connect distant parts of the universe. It's like finding a hidden door to another galaxy. The famous Einstein-Rosen bridge is often linked to wormholes, and it's like the scientific blueprint for these cosmic shortcuts. Researchers use powerful tools like the Hubble Space Telescope to hunt for signs of these hypothetical portals. Now, let's flip the cosmic coin and explore the enigmatic concept of white holes, often called time-reversed black holes. White holes are the reverse of black holes. Nothing can enter them, but they seem to spew out matter and energy. It's like a cosmic fountain, but the trick is that we haven't found one yet. They're like the unicorns of the cosmos. The scientific world is buzzing with theories about white holes, but they remain mysterious and speculative. Finally, let's dive into the world of exotic black hole concepts. Scientists have proposed exotic theories, from traversable wormholes to black holes as gateways to other universes. It's like exploring the uncharted territories of the cosmos. But these theories are still in the realm of speculation, and they often spark debates in the scientific community. Now we'll be peering into the future of black hole research. As we look ahead, we can't ignore the challenges and unsolved mysteries that fuel scientific curiosity. Singularities and quantum gravity are like uncharted territories, black hole cores shrouded in mystery. Scientists are on a quest to unlock their secrets by piecing together the puzzle of quantum gravity. Dark matter and the potential existence of primordial black holes are like unsolved enigmas. They're the missing pieces of the cosmic jigsaw, and scientists are determined to find them. We are at the end of our journey through the mysteries of black holes. You can also check out our latest video on the Big Bang Theory. The link is in the description below. If you found the video informative, 
hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on cosmology.